Now it's shooting. Alright, good. I just want to see if there's something I missed up there. I'm seeing all these items I'm getting, by the way, but they they seem bad, <laughs> so I'm not gonna waste uh, reading. I'm gonna waste too much time. Bolt. That's useful. So no items up here. Uh, nope, I guess not. <laughs> Wanted the execution, but no. Oh. Thing behind here. Nothing special. Alright, let's uh, explore the rest of Australia. This seems like a good place to hide a catacomb or ruin of some sort. this guy going okay. do we have anything accidentally switching to one handing the weapon it's not good Technically, use my million runes to level up faith and get rid of that talisman. But let's try not to over level completely. <laughs> I hear something. Some sort of omitting vibration. <laughs> That's not it. Okay. I don't know. Could just be some ambient sound effects. Well, now I hear it again. Okay. Not 
much interesting happening here. Oh, that is a traitor. Doing in terms of souls, I mean ruins, 13,000. Okay. Well, there's been an age since I've seen a customer. How can I help here at the end of the earth? Sell me something nice. I have this. Infinites of those. Zweihander. Lost Ashes of War. Wandering Merchant. Notes. These are usually not very good. Exceedingly <laughs> rare to find. I'll make a note that there's a stone sword keys here. Sure, you know what, let's try it. I'll buy these as well since it says it's rare. And buy this as well. Right. Have a safe journey. I guess since I just bought a bunch of crap. Let's open our inventory. I have a lot of these, so. Rest out of my uh, chest as well. How can I switch to chest? Why? Inventory is full. It's full. It's full. Now we have sixteen thousand. Enough. Not quite. I overdid it. That's fine. Level up. Put it in faith. At least we get some defense out of it. Right, let's try out this uh, Zvaya. It's probably a big ass sword. Let's see. It's probably in the Ultra Sword category. No? Colossal Sword, not Ultra. Right, so. weaker, but I'm sure it has greater reach. Just about the largest sword a mere man is capable of swinging. True to its name, it is designed to be wielded by both hands, but those of merely ordinary strength will struggle to do so. The long blade is heavy and sharp, sending foes reeling back with its broad strokes while also capable of devastating piercing thrusts. Stamp. This? I have enough strength to use this. That's a very good charge attack and very good roll attack. Okay, more interesting. Okay. okay, we get to keep the charge, I mean the thrust. These are very good attacks. Very, very good at that. But now, the interesting question. <laughs> I 
That's gotta do a lot of damage. But that seems like the same as this. No, it's not. Okay, it's a unique. All right, that is kind of interesting. A part of me is tempted to just pump strength and go dual colossal sword. All oh, right, uh, the merchant's notes. Uh, to stop the mausoleum stride, you need to clean up around its feet first. That is money wasted. That is very wasted. Luckily, it wasn't that much. Alright, let's uh, check out the rest of this beach and then come up here and check this and get up here and see what the hell this is. There's a lot of. Uh A lot of dead. Are they farmable? Let's see. Okay. That is uh, an awful amount of uh, roots. Not even worth. Unless there is some gimmick I'm not aware of. What's that thing? Oh, I can't see. There we go. You're wondering what that was? That was me spamming map. You have loot, what can I say? Here... It's up there. Okay. with this. Buff is strong, I need to read this again because I might have underestimated how strong it is. I mean the bleed stuff is good, but let's, uh, let's read this again actually. Does it how much damage does it give? Does it give me damage as well? Because I don't remember.
Incantation. Faith and Arcane. So does this scale with Faith and Arcane? That's pretty cool. Uh, doesn't say. I'll read. I'll read about it. It seems like it adds a tremendous amount of damage. Or at least damage that bypasses defense. So that's pretty good. And if it scales with Arcane, that's pretty good. Wouldn't mind an Arcane, like, sort of physical Arcane hybrid build. The stat seems very interesting. Especially if it's related to uh, status ailments, status effects, death and rot and poison and bleed and stuff. Something happening up here? Fourth Church of America. Am I gonna get loot here? Oh. I mean, that's... Not bad. <laughs> Just kind of hoping for something... A cool weapon or something. Lover ahead, except let there be tear. Huh? Nothing. No additional loot. I don't understand why. What's this so special about Australia here? Is it only because of the sword? I mean, I'm sure it's a good. S Ooh. Okay. Now we are talking. What are we fighting? Oh, ancient hero. Oh. That's bad. So bad, actually. Ooh, the bleed. Nice. Radagons. Scar Seal. Oh shit, who was Radagon again? I think it was one of the one of the husbands, right? That was supposed to be Elden Lord. I remember someone leaving a comment. I need to go back and read it again. I remember if it was the first or second husband. Okay, uh, something here. But let's just. Get this, and then I'll grab the seal. Oh man. Ugh, that's that's mean. Now I can't tell. Oh, can I? 
What the? Ah, I can't snap. There we go. Talisman or No it was yes it was. Raises attribute but also increases damage taken. An eye engraved with an Elden Rune. Said to be the seal of King Consort Radagon. Raises vigor, endurance, strength, and dexterity, but also increases damage taken. These seals represent the lifelong duty of those chosen, those chosen by the gods. That is very interesting. Uh, Talisman depicting the drop of the earth tree sap, a blessed boon gradually restores HP. It was once thought that the blessed sap of the earth tree would drip from its bowels forever, but the age of plenty swiftly came to a close, and with time, the earth tree became more... An object of faith. So, how much would I get from this? A curiosity. Three. It's not completely awful, but uh, the stats are a bit spread out. By the way, I didn't check that, did I? I did not check this, so let's go check. Oh, there it is, the tower. Finally, I can return to our home, bathe in rays of gold. Oh, we'll check out that in a second. Let's see if we find anything down here. Alright, something's happening. <laughs> oh, poison. Dragonfly head. Get away from my friend. <laughs> oh, did I drop something? That's a lot of arrows sticking out of my body. Ah, oh, I think I'm just gonna take the poison. Ambush shard. Person? Oh, it's the top of the hat. <laughs> it will do no good, I swear it. And yet you persist, you frothing degenerates. You talking to me? Hold on, lady, I gotta heal. <laughs> Let's try again. Hmm. 
Again, I'd like to help you, but... It's a crystal thing. Let's see if you can get some advice. She's freezing, apparently, so let's see. Read message. Let there be head. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what else? Such a bloodstone. A bloodstain. Um. Why? Well, whatever is up there. Right, so. Can I apply heat somehow? To her? Or some sort of warmth? Some special powers. Let's strike from behind with a projectile fired from distance. Strike from behind. With a projectile fired from distance, one of the night sorceries of Celia, a town of sorcery, launches a projectile from distance, removed from the caster, so as to strike the enemy from behind. This sorcery can be cast repeatedly. The Celian sorcerers were assassins, and they said that they often hunted their fellows. That sounds cool. Might try that one day. Um, I don't know what to do with her. Beak forward, no attacking ahead. Always lover. I, I'm just gonna put person because I I don't know sorceress Selen. I have to figure out a way to free your hands. Clearly not done here because my knight is still active. Right. I thought I had some, you know, warming magic that I could use. Is this the one we cleared, by the way? Ugh, the bat. Oh yeah, it is. Um, right. Then, sort of like going up here and seeing what's up. Eh, let's just do it. Yeah, that didn't go well for him. Something up here. I have to drop down from below. I mean from above. Let's go see. Another basement? Yes. Right. Is that the one I just... Yeah. It's about... Let's go check it out, then check out the basement. No, no. Divine fortification.
Increases holy damage negation. Incantation of two finger faithfuls. Increase holy damage negation. This incantation can be cast while in motion. Follow the path that has been set for you, for you, and you will make enemies of all others. The monks, the sorcerers, the ancient dragon, knights, and the signs of gold. Heed me, the lands between offers no welcome to the tarnished. It's actually interesting. I was just about to say that it's weird that the finger provides an ability that gives you protection against holy. It seems a bit suspicious. this assassins huh interesting I'm very good ones but I mean it did hide well Winged Scythe. A lot of people dying here. I think that's about it, to be honest. Right? That's the uh, church over there. Tentacles. Okay, let's uh, check out the winged sight. And then I think I will call it for the day. There is not much to do here, I think. Except from the sorcerers I have to figure out. And then I think I just go north. Uh, faith D requires 24 faith. Holy damage. Slash. Angel's wings. Sacred Scythe, resembling a pair of white wings, deals holy damage. According to pagan belief, white-winged maidens are said to be death's gentle envoys. Unique skill, Angel's Wings. Jump and imbue the winged blade of Armand with light, then deliver a slashing attack on the enemy. The white wings impede recovery actions using flask of... The white wings impede recovery actions using a flask of... Okay, that's way bigger than I thought. That's what she said. Interesting. And if I equip two of them, what kind of interesting movesets do we get? interesting but oh well. I mean it seems pretty cool so far I think the twin blades is the most interesting uh, anyways I'm gonna end here um, yeah we finish Australia I think except from this thing and maybe that and this of course uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just gonna check a map and see if there's a catacomb here that I missed. Uh, which it probably is. Or maybe it is this one, I'm not sure. But whatever it is, I'll figure it out. We'll go, we'll check it. 
I think we're mostly done. I just need to figure out how to release this one. Maybe I have to go back to a round table and they will give me some advice. I'll do that in the next recording. Uh, other than that, I think what I want to do is move here. Start leading up to the castle. I'm not sure if I'll go in the castle, but I'm going to check out what's over here. Then we'll come back, check out this region of the lake, and then go into the, the academy. I think that's the plan. Anyways, have a nice day. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. It's fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.